Hey there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl, and no, I'm not lying. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Oh man, oh man, I'm so glad you're here! Today, I got to see something truly incredible. Something so massive, something so liony. Yes, I saw lions, check them out! Lions are fascinating, I mean, they're so big! They can weigh up to 400 pounds and run up to 50 miles an hour. And I ain't even lying about that! And I think I can relate to most lions because they rest up to 20 hours a day. Nothing I love more than just lying around. <laughs> Plus, I am a huge Lion King fan. It's a circle of life, and it... Okay, I, I probably can't sing much more because we'll get sued, probably. Sorry, Disney. Anywho, the other reason I'm so excited is because of this. While the lions were napping, I decided to read more about Daniel. And wow, oh wow, this guy was something else. His bravery, his faith, his everything. And apparently, he was handsome too. Sound like anyone you know? Daniel is just such a great example of someone who loves and trusts God. I just can't get enough of his story. Especially the part that I read this morning. It had me on the edge of my seat and I wasn't even sitting down on a seat. So I want to talk about it, but I figured I'd give Andrew a call. He's going to be so proud of me. Carl, how you doing, man? Couldn't be better, man. Guess what I saw today? Ooh, what? Lions. I, I, I said lions. Andrew, can you... It, sorry, folks. Andrew, can you, hey, can you hear me? Snap out of it. Sorry, Carl, it's just lions, man. I, I don't do lions. Uh, I, I don't like lions. Okay, well, they're not here right now. I can smell them on you. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just afraid of lions. Well, I can see that. But Andrew, do you know who might have also been afraid of lions? Daniel? No, Daniel, wait, wait, did you just say Daniel? Yeah. Oh, yes, correct then. Well, I was reading Daniel chapter 6 this morning, and I couldn't believe what I was reading. Well, tell us what happened. It's, it's been a while since I've heard it. So there's a new king in town, King Darius. And he had a kingdom so big, he couldn't handle it all by himself. He needed help, and Daniel, he was the most skilled and trustworthy guy all around. So did Daniel get a promotion? He did! Wait, wasn't Daniel like one of the like third administrators or something like that? And Daniel's doing a great job, but then things got a bit icky. Oh man, I, I should have known. What happened? Well, there was other leaders under Daniel that didn't really like him. They didn't like the attention and authority that he was getting. So they got together and they came up with a little plan. Here we go. So they came up with an idea. They were going to go to the king and convince him to pass a new law. What was the new law? Well, they knew Daniel loved God. And they also knew that Daniel prayed to God every day. So they decided to make a law that made it illegal to pray to anybody or anything besides King Darius. What would happen if they prayed to someone else besides King Darius? They would be thrown in the lion's den. Psst. Andrew, you're, you're supposed to scream. Oh, now? Yeah. Oh, okay, got it, my bad. Ah! Right? So the king agreed to the new law, but when Daniel found out about it, he went to go pray, and guess what? What? The other leaders saw him and went and reported it to King Darius. Whew, and it was tough for King Darius. He didn't know what to do, but he decided to obey the new law. He ordered Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. But before he did, he told Daniel this. May your God whom you serve continually rescue you. Whoa, that's cool. Very cool. So they threw Daniel into the lions. They covered the pit he was in with a big heavy stone. And then the king went back and didn't eat or drink all night because of how he felt. I bet. That's a terrible situation. It was. But the next morning, King Darius ran to the lion's den. He moved the stone and guess what? Ain't Andrew, Andrew, say, say what? Oh, sorry. What? Daniel was alive! The king was so happy. And then Daniel told him this. My God sent his angel and he shut the mouths of the lions. They have not hurt me because I was found innocent in his sight. That is incredible. God protected Daniel. Why do you think God did that? 
I don't know for sure, but it could have been because of Daniel's belief in God. Daniel had to make a choice to pray to God or to pray to something or someone that is not God. For Daniel, it was an easy decision. He loved God so much he was willing to do whatever it took. Takes. Took takes. Takes. Took. I mean, he almost became a kitty snack. You're right. And for him to not be afraid and to trust that God was going to take care of him, you're right. That's pretty awesome. It totally is. I mean, I don't plan on encountering a lion in real life, except for at the zoo. But I think when I'm afraid of other things, I won't worry so much because I know that God is with me. Like when I have to go to doctor's appointments or take a big scary test, or when my family gets in yearly arguments about what is worse, a brain freeze or a torn off toenail. Either way, I know that God is with me. Hey there, kids! What an awesome story, right? I mean, an angel shut the mouth of a lion. Who would have saw that coming? Now, today's big idea is I'm not afraid. God is with me. So let's roar it out on the count of three. Ready? Stretch your neck. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm not afraid. God is with me. Whoa. Great job, kids. Now, next week is Carl's last week at the zoo. So make sure you come back and see us, all right? Awesome. I'll see you later. Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Roar.